You want to create some music, but don't have a physical instrument? No problem. Thank you for checking out this simple green tech video where we look at audio recording tips, tutorials, and reviews. I'm Radio Zane, and today we're going to look at creating a song using only virtual instruments in the free DAW Traction 7. Now, I'm just going to do something quick, so don't expect a spectacular song from me right here, but we'll go over some of the basics, like using the piano roll with virtual instruments, adding MIDI clips, and layering sounds so you can start making some great songs at home. I've done another Traction 7 Basics video where I go over installing plugins and loading them into Traction. If you need help with that sort of thing, please check out that video. I'll make sure to link it below. The song here is going to be very basic. Let's say a drum beat, bass line, a lead of some sort, and maybe a pad. Of course, when you're doing your song, you can go as crazy as you like with adding instruments or sounds, or of course you can go as minimal as you like. It's all up to you. So let's get started. Usually, I like to start with a drum beat, so I'm going to load that up first. I'm going to add it to track four. We're going to right click, add new plugin. I'm going to use the free drum plugin called MT Power Drum Kit. Once you get it open, you can go into the groove section and listen to some of the drum patterns that come with it. Now I'm going to select this one right here. So now you just drag and drop it into the timeline. And you can just drag it right to the beginning of your song. Right there. You can double click on this track. And you can see piano roll a little bit better. Now let's copy and paste it a few times. To copy and paste, you just click on the clip that you want to copy, press Ctrl C on your computer keyboard to copy, and then Ctrl V on your computer keyboard to paste. We have our drum beat. Now let's come up with a bass pattern to go with it. I'm going to load up Vacuum Pro. This plugin wasn't free, but it only cost $1 at PluginBoutique.com, and it was well worth $1. I'll link to them below so you can check out their deals and the free plugins that they have. So let's choose a bass preset in vacuum. This one sounds all right. Now let's add a new MIDI clip to this track by right clicking on the left side of the track and selecting insert new MIDI clip. You could also just press the G key on your keyboard. Now let's drag the hollow triangle here so the clip goes right to the end of the drum pattern. Now we can draw our bass pattern into the piano roll. Like I said earlier, this is just going to be a basic song, so don't expect anything fancy here. You see the keys over here? Those are the notes that you'll put into the grid. So let's say we're going to go with a C note. That's a little high pitch. I want it to be a lower C. There we go. Now, if you want to select the notes that you have already and make a copy of those, you go over to this arrow tool here and you just click and drag, cover all the notes that you want, control C on your computer keyboard, and then control V on your computer keyboard. Let's listen to what we have so far. So we now have a decent foundation for the first section of our song. Let's add a lead to it now. I'm going to use another $1 plugin from PluginBoutique.com called Hybrid 3. You can find a lot of free instruments out there, so don't feel like you have to buy any right away. I only have a few instruments installed on this computer, and they just happen to be those $1 ones plus the free drum kit. 
Plugin Boutique also has free instruments that you can download, but there are numerous other sites out there with free plugins. So just search around the net and find some that you like. Okay, I'm just going to find a lead preset that works with our bass. It'll be anything here. Let's hear what this sounds like. That sounds all right. We'll go with this one. All right, so say that's what we like. Let's copy it and paste it so it goes right to the end of our track here. Now, say we want to add a second part like maybe a chorus to our song. Let's go back into the MT Power Drum Kit and we'll get another one of these grooves here. Um, I don't even care. I will just choose this one, drag it, drop it in, ignore that, copy it, paste it. Hear what it sounds like. Basically the same thing. Now let's change our bass line a little bit. We're going to add another MIDI clip here. And now let's go with a G. And we'll add a lead to this part of the song. Insert new MIDI clip. All right, now we have our second part. Let's say that is our chorus. And maybe we want to add a pad just to fill out the sound a little more to this. So I'm going to add one more instrument. This time we're adding Expand 2. Again, another one of those $1 plugins. I'm just going to load up some sort of pad preset. I'm not even going to be fussy. Synthology. There, that sounds good. We're going to add a new MIDI clip. This is just going to go over the chorus section. That's what we're going to call this, the chorus section. And we had a G. Let's hear this. Ah, that's beautiful. All right, let's give that a listen now. And that's fine. So maybe after our chorus, we want to go back into our verse. To do that, we can just copy what we have in our verse before. All right, make sure it's all lined up. And you can do the same thing with all of the different parts of the song. So now we have a verse and a chorus. That's about all we're going to do for this ridiculous song that we have here. But say I want to add an effect to one of the instrument tracks. Um, let's say the drums need a little bit of compression. We can do that by right clicking over here, add new plugin. I'm just going to add the built in traction compressor. And if you go down here, there's the presets. You can click load. And we'll just choose the drum setting. If your compressor loads in before the instrument track, you can see here how it comes before the instrument track in the chain. Just click on it, drag it over to the side, and you want it to come after the instrument track. That way the effect will work. So let's listen to what this compressor sounds like on the drum track. And here's without it. Now I'm sure whatever song you come up with is going to sound way better than that. But there you have it, creating a song in Traction 7 using only VST instruments. So let's recap what we looked at. In this video, we looked at adding an instrument to a track, inserting MIDI clips into the track, using the piano roll to draw our patterns in, copying and pasting clips to arrange our song, and we also added an effect to an instrument track. Now let me ask you, have you created a song in Traction 7? If you have, let me know in the comments below, and you can also feel free to link to a track or two so we can have a listen to what you came up with. If you found this video useful or you would like to show us some appreciation, 
we do have a Patreon page that you can become a member at. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and continue to see more content that we create. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane. Thank you so much for sticking around, and we'll talk soon.